Hello everyone, this is Joe Testa, and for those that are new to my YouTube channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. And for those that are returning, uh, welcome back. The topic of this video is going to be change your diet and change your life. So today I just want to talk about uh, the benefits of eating the correct diet that your body that your body you uh, will need to optimally function so if you're if you're watching this and you're if you're overweight or if you just consider yourself really unhealthy then I really commend you for watching this and seeking the information that you need in order to change your life for the better now I want to start by saying that wherever you are now whatever situation you're in now you need to fully accept the situation you're in. If you're overweight, if you're unhealthy, if you have bad life circumstances, that's okay. You need to accept where you are and then use information that you learn, read, listen to, watch, and apply what you learn and change your life for the better. So the diet I'll be talking the diet I'll be talking about today is an alkaline diet. And what is an alkaline diet? An alkaline diet is one in which you eat plenty of alkaline-based foods and in return you'll reap all kinds of benefits from losing weight to you know not being as tired. People say all the time, you know, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm tired like all the time or you see them at work, what's the first thing they say? You see your buddy at the gym, or you see somebody, somebody somewhere, and you say, "Oh, hey, how you doing?" They'll be, "Oh, man, I'm tired." Just such an automatic response. Whereas, you know, when you're eating fast food and McDonald's and unhealthy foods all the time, I mean, yeah, your body doesn't have the nutrients that it needs to function optimally, and in turn, you result in being tired all the time. I used, to, I used to eat pretty pretty shitty and I would, I would you know get eight nine even like ten hours of sleep and I'd wake up and I'd still feel like a train hit me I'd still feel really tired I'd be like man I could probably sleep another couple hours but I forced myself out of bed and I'd start the day now these days now that I'm eating an alkaline based diet I find myself pretty much okay after like five six hours I'm able to get up you know, hop in the shower, brush my teeth, eat a nice healthy breakfast, and you know, I'm, I'll be fully awake within like 10, 15, 20 minutes, and I'm, I'm ready to rock, so. So a lot of you are probably asking, what is an alkaline-based diet? What do you eat? And an alkaline-based diet is one in which that revolves mostly around alkaline-based foods. So, the opposite of alkaline is acidic and I would say the majority of of your diet is more than likely acidic uh, you're probably eating a lot of meats uh, a lot of carbs a lot of processed sugars other other sugars um, all of these things are acidic and now while these things are okay to eat in not moderation obviously you might need to eat some fish or some chicken or some eggs to get some protein you might eat, eat, need to eat some rice and some pasta and other things to get some carbs, but it's important that you balance these things out with healthy alkaline-based uh, vegetables, essentially. So, some alkaline-based vegetables, anything that's like green, essentially, is alkaline. So, avocado is alkaline, broccoli, spinach, kale, uh, tomato is actually alkaline, celery, cucumber. There's like lists online uh, that go through all the alkaline foods and the main goal is to have your food by volume. You want it to be, majority of it to be alkaline food. And now this might be hard in the beginning, but you will get used to it. And if you use the couple tips that I'm gonna give you here, it will really won't it really won't be that hard so tip number one is well step number one go to the grocery store 
by uh, an arms an armful of green vegetables. This is, vegetables is one of the things in your life that is definitely worth spending the money on. So you buy your vegetables, you go home, maybe you got a juicer or a blender, you start throwing all that shit in the blender, you blend it up and you drink it down. And now in the beginning you might say, oh man, this is this is friggin' nasty, man. Well, what you do is you put a little bit of fruit in it. Sometimes I'll put like a little few slices of apple, maybe some blueberry, strawberry, and that will sweeten the blend a little bit and make it not as uh, as abrasive on your taste buds. But really, you get used to the taste. I don't really add much fruit anymore. I just make a nice green smoothie and drink it right down. And the benefits of it is just like is. I'll, I'll go over some benefits that, that I have felt. So, benefit number one is, I'm already, um, I'm not overweight to begin with. I only weigh, I only, I'm like, I'm pretty much good on the body weight aspect. But, it'll ensure that you stay at a healthy body weight. See, the thing with the alkaline based foods, all these green veggies, is for the most part, they are very low in calories and the volume of the food that you're going to be consuming is large. So when the calories are low, but the volume of food is large, that means you're going to be more full off of less calories. So over time, you will start to lose weight. That is the first benefit. The second benefit is basically you're going to live longer. You're going to live longer and you're going to have less medical issues along the way. It's gonna, it's gonna fight sickness, it's gonna fight disease. Uh, there's a really good book by uh, Robert O. Young. It's called Sick and Tired. Uh, I think it's Reclaim or something about inner terrain. And it's kind of a play on words because sick and tired is like what you say when you're fed up with something. But it's literally like many times you're sick a lot and you're tired a lot when you're not eating right. But when you when you consume a diet like this, you know, you're pretty much like you're you're in good shape. So I mean, I haven't been sick in probably a couple of years now, mainly because I've paid attention to the things that I eat. I'm not senseless about the things that I eat. Um, even a few months ago, I used to go to McDonald's a lot. I, I ate a lot of McDonald's. And I just felt drained after a while, and, and I said to myself, you know what, that's, that's it. I'm going to start going to the grocery store now and buying some vegetables and buying some healthy, you know, unprocessed, not frozen meats, etc., to really balance out my diet. So, back on track, that is benefit number two. You'll be less sick, living longer, fighting, fighting you know, cancer, all that good stuff. And number three is you'll be more confident. You'll, you'll have a greater sense of well-being. Your body will just feel healthier and in turn, in, in turn you'll, you'll show that on the outside. Your smile will be brighter. Your eyes will be brighter. Your skin will ultimately clear up. I don't have the best skin ever, but my skin is so sensitive uh, when I eat shitty like at all. There's so many things that will cause me to have skin issues. Dairy causes me to have skin issues. Excess sugar causes me to have skin issues. Like eating candy is like basically like out of the question for me. So a lot of times people have acne and skin issues and they really don't know why. And it can simply come down to like that little bit of candy you're eating each day or that, that bit of processed sugar you're eating each day, or that the dairy you're having each day, maybe you're having milk with breakfast, you know, you got cheese, etc. Things like this, can you, cutting things like this out of your diet can usually eliminate a lot of skin issues. And then if you're eating a lot of green leafy vegetables on top of that, you can pretty much put dermatologists out of business. So that's that's not something that you know a dermatologist will tell you. They'll tell you, oh use this medication, use this cream, but ultimately all you gotta do is 
eliminate a few things out of your diet and eat correctly. So that's the that's the third thing is you'll you'll feel it on the inside and the outside. Uh, there's actually um, this is another book by Robert O. Young, The pH Miracle. I uh, I went over I went over this book uh, many many a video ago. A video I think I titled uh, like best books of 2019 that I've enjoyed, something like that. Like recommended 2019 books and. So I recommend this book as well. It goes over a lot of good recipes for you. As for me, I keep things really simple. I eat, I either eat like a nice tasty salad or I, or I uh, blend up vegetables and drink it down. Now the next, the next benefit, and this one's great too, is that your digestion will feel, you'll have much better digestion. It's gonna kind of detox you. It's gonna remove all those imp impurities out of your GI tract and once you're kind of you know washed out so to speak like you detox so to speak going to the bathroom bathroom breaks it'll be so much easier at that point that's the last thing digestion issues you know constipation diarrhea I don't want to get too detailed but essentially these things will more than likely uh, go away unless you already have like a medically a medical diagnosed issue where it's kind of a, a little bit more than that same with skin like if you have an actual skin issue say you have like psoriasis or something like that then many well this is kind of an interesting topic is because psoriasis I believe to be I believe is an autoimmune disease and what is an autoimmune disease? It's when your immune system is doing things that are essentially resulting in unwanted outcomes. So, but if you completely switch your diet and completely switch things around, over time, this might really resolve things for you. So guys, I really, I'm really happy that you guys are watching this and you're seeking information about changing your diet, changing your lives. Um, and the success aspect of this is you'll just feel more confident, happier. When you change your diet for the better like this, you're going to go after the things that you want in life. And that in and of itself should be enough to want to make this diet change. One final tip I want to give is take a sheet of paper and split it down the middle write down all the positives of eating right, eating, a, eating an alkaline based diet, juicing vegetables, write down all the positives on one side. Now on the left side, or the right side of the paper, whatever the hell you're doing, on one side write the positives of eating an alkaline healthy diet, on the other side write the, the uh, negatives of not eating this diet. And now, whenever you don't feel like eating healthy or, or juicing your vegetables or eating a salad, just look at your list. It'll be so much easier and you'll train yourself to correlate eating vegetables with good things instead of worrying about all oh, the taste or this other bullshit that like, it's, it's ridiculous. And you can do this with pretty much uh, any, any kind of, uh, any kind of topic that you really want to, any, any kind of thing that you want to get into, say for example you want to start getting up earlier, write down all the positives of getting up earlier and then all the negatives of not getting up earlier and you'll train your body to do a slightly like undesirable thing but you'll train your mind to think that these things are very, very, they're actually very positive on a deeper level. So there you go guys, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you change your diet in the right way and eat a lot of uh, green vegetables and alkaline your body, you will also change your life. So that's all. Uh, down below, hit the like button and also subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave a comment. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Talk to you later.